BuckeyeHuddle.com Southern Swing continues. We're in the greater Atlanta area. Collins Hill High School, 2026 defensive lineman Deuce Geralds, one of the top players in the country, one of Ohio State's top recruiting targets. Something funny happened with the wardrobe. Uh, I had a feeling Deuce was going to show for the camera here. So I showed for the camera with the Philadelphia Eagles gear because mm -hmm. the Collins Hill Eagles, and they have the same, very similar colors to the Philadelphia yes, Eagles. So we're, uh, we're, we're doing this right. Um, Deuce, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Just finishing up a day at school, about to head out to practice. How has spring been going for you? And kind of what are some things you're working on this spring? Uh, it's a great opportunity for you guys to get better and kind of get ready for your mm -hmm. season. What are, what are some of your areas of focus? Uh, right now, individually, I've been working on my get off and like being more active with my hands, being like more violent, striking the old lineman, uh, hitting him backwards and like getting in the backfield, making big plays right now. And yeah, I'm just working on all that right now. And then obviously working with my team, trying to get ready for this spring game against Archer uh, next week, actually, and then get ready for the rest of the season. How helpful is it for you guys to not be not only be able to go out and get some pads on and do some hitting, but also to like scrimmage another team in the spring? How much does that maybe put you ahead of the, the curve when you, in terms of getting ready for the season in August? I feel like that helps out like a lot playing against another team. So like instead of like beating up on each other, doing a, a spring game against each other, I feel like going against another team, like going be able to go all out and hit somebody else is like way better than coming out here and having to go against each other for another scrimmage. Yep. Obviously, Ohio State's recruiting very, very hard. You said Coach mm -hmm. Johnson was in here the other day. Yes, sir. Um, how is that relationship with Coach Johnson? It just seems like you guys have seemed to click pretty well. Yeah, me and Coach Johnson have a very, very strong relationship, and I also have a very strong relationship with everybody else on the staff. Uh, Coach Clark and Coach uh, B.T. Jordan, mm -hmm. both of them are from the same place as my dad and from where my, my hometown is uh, back in Louisiana. Um, B.T., I actually played against my dad in arena football, and Coach Clark uh, went to the same high school as my dad growing up. So, yeah, so it's a, it's a lot of connections over there at Ohio State right now with that strong connection with Coach Johnson. I mean, that's that's pretty crazy, actually, mm -hmm. how that's come together um, with the other members of the defensive coaching staff there. Uh, I guess how comfortable does that make you as far mm -hmm. as you and your family you know if if Ohio State was ultimately going to be the destination just how comfortable would that make you just knowing you got some people up there that you know exactly. aren't just people that are recruiting you, but people actually like are familiar with your family kind of have your best interests at heart uh, that makes me very comfortable like with the place like especially like very far from where I'm actually living at in Georgia mm -hmm. to go out to in Ohio and knowing that like there's people that have some type of love for me outside of football and that will love me and like be able to communicate with me and my family well. So you were up for the spring game. Um, mm -hmm. That was just the last time you were up. What did you think of the game? What were some maybe some standouts on the visit mm -hmm. for you? Uh, the whole the whole visit was overall great. Over, overall great. Uh, I was up there with Jakeem Stewart and other guys, Bryce Perry Wright and um, Anthony and Ryan. Uh, being up there with them was really good. Like being around people, like to have a great time with at the game was great. And watching the game, I just saw like how great the D line looked, the, how great the team looked. Like with all these new guys showing up, it looked like they looked like they've been playing with each other for uh, the past two years actually. So to see how strong they look, I, I really like. I'm, I'm gonna be looking forward to watching Ohio State this season. I don't know how closely you follow like the NFL draft and like who goes into the draft and who doesn't. And, everything but you know Ohio State had three defensive linemen that mm -hmm. were projected to be drafted pretty high in the draft they exactly. all decided to come back um, is that something that you noticed is it, and if you yeah. did notice that kind of how how did you kind of think about that when you saw the news about that uh, yeah because actually I'm pretty uh, actually on one of my visits I met uh, the three D linemen Michael Hall JT and Jack I met all three of them um, Michael, I saw uh, when he got drafted by the Cleveland Browns yep. this uh, past draft, and seeing all those guys being produced by Coach Johnson and hearing, be able to get feedback from them on Coach Johnson's uh, coaching, and then how like the culture of Ohio State is, I feel like that's like really good to like know, and then do, for them to be able to go to like the draft and just st like still staying shows that like they really just love Ohio State, and I really like I really appreciate that like them sharing that with me. Coach Johnson, what what do you think makes him successful? I mean, he he recruits well, but he also has this uh, track record with the NFL, as you just mentioned. And 
Um, what, what do you think it is about him that's allowed him to be successful? I just feel like Coach Johnson is one of the best, probably the best D-line coach out there. It doesn't get any better, <clears throat> any better than him. So like with him, like for the, over the years, just developing, developing the guys, like doing the same like formula, but like adding in like the new stuff, like changing with the like the way everything's changing around him. Like I feel like he does that a good job of that. Like associating like that with his drills and the way he goes about practice and the way he teaches his D linemen. Still, you have a lot of time if you want to take it as far as recruiting. It's mm -hmm. still early for you. Where would you say, though, Ohio State kind of fits in right now? It, it seems like you're pretty serious. Yeah, Ohio State is very high on my list for recruiting, and I'm really looking forward with them in my recruiting process for the future. Who else are you connecting with other than Ohio State? Are there some other schools you've got, uh, yeah. you've got a good bond with? Uh, right now, I have great connections with schools like Auburn, uh, Auburn, Alabama, uh, Texas, Texas State, um, uh, North Carolina, Tennessee, and plenty of other schools also. Ohio State's always recruited Georgia very hard. I made, they make that state one of their top priorities to recruit. You're close mm -hmm. with a lot of the other 2026 guys. They've offered a lot of them. You know, we go mm -hmm. down from Aaron Gregory to Zealous Six to Bryce Perry right there. They've made a lot of these guys kind of early priority guys along with yourself. Do you guys bounce things off each other? Are there any guys you're particularly close with or you bounce things off, whether it's a, a visit or a relationship you have with a coach or anything? Uh, I mean, a lot of us, we all, like, we have a group chat and stuff that we chat about, and a lot of us are very interested in Ohio State, and we talk about uh, getting back up there, like, for another visit or a game this season. So, like, Ohio State with, like, me and my friend group and stuff, like, it's been, like, pretty good, and they stay relevant in our conversations. Yeah. Um, what do you think about Caleb Downs? transferring what, what, what would that surprise you yeah i mean yeah that thing i think that surprised me i thought he would have you know coming back home to georgia or something but him going to ohio state i feel like that was a great fit for him i feel like that was a great decision by him to go to ohio state can i ask you about this here mm -hmm. your your chain uh right here is my uh mom on my chain i wear her so i go uh, like oh i feel like i'm always supporting her while i'm out here and doing anything i'm doing okay good um what, what are the important factors uh, in your recruiting process as you start to evaluate? And is this something where, are you, do you feel like you're close to narrowing it, you're narrowing your focus, or is this still, you know, we still pretty early toward the starting line? Uh, right now, I, I, I feel like I should start narrowing things down. I might actually do that right, uh, right before my junior season, might drop like a top 12, top 10 list to like narrow, like show like what schools are really like popping out to me right now. Mm -hmm. So I might put that out there soon, probably right after this spring is over with. So that like that's something I'm looking forward to. And I, I don't know when I'm, I plan on committing, but I, I feel like right now high school's been going by pretty fast. So I feel like it's the time is upcoming. Yep. Um, you got official visits eventually. Uh, you can't do those, I guess, until next April, I think, is when it starts. Mm -hmm. What are the chances Ohio State will get an official visit? Uh, I'll definitely try to schedule Ohio State official visit for sure. I hope, like, I definitely look forward to that. I, I, without any doubt right now, I've, that's where I would schedule an official visit to. Uh, any plans to get back up there in the meantime, or whether it doesn't have to be a specific date, but mm -hmm. are, do you have a time frame of maybe getting back up at some point? I, I hope to get back up there this summer. If not, I'll definitely be back up for a game. Okay. Well, Deuce, we appreciate your time, man. It was great seeing you again. We've uh -huh. kind of been a regular stop for us the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll hopefully be out to see you in the fall as well for a game. But if you come mm -hmm. up in the summer for camp, we'll see you there. All right. All right. Thanks, great. man. Thank you.